Hello guys, welcome back to the Civil Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. Today our lecture is about the seismic base shear. It is also called the earthquake base shear. So first to define the base shear. The base shear is the maximum lateral force that will occur due to the seismic ground motion at the base of a structure. So to explain this definition, I will try to take help from this diagram. Let's consider this is in a multi-story building with the foundation shown at the base of a structure. This is the foundation provided at the base of a structure. So when the earthquake happens, the building start to deflect from its original position. So what happens? The earthquake force is transferred from the soil to the base of a structure or to the bottom of structure. And we call that there are some forces acting at the base of the structure. And these forces acting at the base of a structure in little direction and sideways direction on a building is called is the seismic base shear. So this is now called is the base shear. And this base shear has been distributed throughout the height of the building to each floor. So this floor will take load and it has been distributed throughout the height of the building. And as the height of the building is increases, the more force, more little force acting on this building. So that's why the high-rise building have the chances to deflect at the top of the building because there is more forces. You can see here the magnitude changes is going from the is going from the bottom to the top. So that's why we have to increase the stiffness of the building at the top side of the building because the more little force is acting at the top of the building. And these forces is called as the seismic story, seismic story forces. Story forces. Because these are seismic forces which acting on each story, on each floor of the building. So the base shear is equal to the summation of all these forces which is which are acting on this floor. So let's consider this is F1, this is F2, this is F3 and so on. Let's consider this is Fn. So summation of all these forces taken to the Fn should be equal to the base shear. So base shear is basically the force acting from the earthquake and the lateral direction on a building and this base shear has been distributed along the height of the building. So the more base shear, the more forces, lateral forces will acting on this building. And this base shear to wide the uh, seismic failure of the building and to increase the stiffness of the little stiffness of the building what we are using we are using the shear wall and high-rise building you may have seen that there are shear walls provided instead of the columns because shear walls are responsible to increase the stiffness of the building to resist more earthquake forces or more little forces coming from the wind so this was all about the base shear which is actually the shear force acting at the base of any structure due to the earthquake load or due to the seismic load. Hope you guys understand and don't forget to subscribe my channel for daily civil engineering videos. Thank you for watching my video.